Hi, this is Janae from Marsha's Garden. So today, the second day of Marsha's Garden. I'm really excited. I couldn't even sleep last night. I've been thinking about everything I need to do, but as for the truth of the matter is, I can't plow anything right now. I can't disc anything. Um, I can just start planting. So if I'm going to have a company, <laughs> and I needed the shade because either you were facing the sun or I was facing the sun where I'm sitting today. Um, but I was just thinking to myself, well, oh, and I also did these little earbuds. I noticed yesterday when I did my video, it sounded horrible. You could hear all the outside noise. Sorry, that was a complete fit. You can still hear the outside noise. I don't have any professional equipment I'm using my phone, some earbuds. Um, maybe as time goes on, I can improve that. Uh, but right now, I'm just working on getting this company going. So I sent a lawyer an email. Um, I was hoping to get dropped up in a Marsh's garden with the Secretary of the State of Iowa. And once he does that, I can go ahead and get my FEIN number, which is my federal identification number for taxes and tax reasons. Uh, that's where I'm at today. I'm going to go ahead and get that set up with the lawyer. I'm going to work on getting this YouTube channel up and going um, and really just start planning on how I'm going to do this. How is this all going to come together? Hopefully it can come together well. Um, it's just really exciting. I don't know. I hope it doesn't fail. Last night I was having a meltdown like, what am I doing? Why am I doing all of this? And then today I was like, nope. Yep, this, this is what this is what was meant to happen. I was always meant to to work on that farm. I, I've always had a feeling about it. I've always wanted it to be nice. It's one of the places I remember from my childhood. So hopefully we can find a good spot and it can all work out and see where the world takes me. So today I'm just kind of sitting out here in my yard, which is kind of where it all started. Um, I've got my laptop set up. This is where it all started. Um, maybe I could throw up a picture here of before, um, because now, you know, I put in, I actually put in this entire walkway. Um, I did not build the pergola. We had a friend in town that, um, he came over and built that. And then we leveled out the area with the pool and I laid sod and... So this was, I think this was maybe one of the very first flowers I planted. Maybe I can find a picture of it. It's very been very, very hot here in Iowa. I mean, it's been 100 degrees for a week. And it's at that time of year where we start just losing some of our plants. Which is okay, because we know they're not going to make it through the winter. I do like these canna. I've been trying to get the seeds of these. They think they're really pretty. Um, I had a bean garden in here in the early part of this year. Those tomatoes are horrible. I kind of just gave up on that garden. I even plowed half of it out. Um, I planted a butterfly bush, a hydrangea, um, just have a lot of different stuff. The hibiscus was really blooming this year. I should, I'll throw a picture of that up maybe. It, it has some really, really pretty blooms. I apologize if you see weeds, but <laughs> I'm one of those crazy dumbers. Then over here I have cucumbers. I don't even know. The other day I took 30 cucumbers <laughs> up to Helping Hands, which is an organization that just, you know, people can go in and get food and things like that and it just helps the community. I just have way too many cucumbers. I haven't even been able to keep up with all the cucumbers. And then also the tomatoes. They are getting some blight and showing signs of blight, but it's also getting towards the end of the season. And we have had our fill of tomatoes. We have had spaghetti sauce, and we have had salsa, and we've had tomato sandwiches, and BLTs, and we've also had melon, which that is just a wee mess. But that's okay. <laughs> We have just been full of it this summer. We're actually to the point where it's kind of fun to get some different things going on. Um, eat some different things. The melons aren't good, but you can only eat so much melon. You can only have so many tomatoes. In the beginning of the summer, I never think that. I always think, well, I could eat these all summer long. And then that's just not how it ends up going. 
We have like a little drainage area here because our yard does all drain this way. So that kind of kicks it out underneath all of the ground out into the front. Um, yeah, so this is my backyard and my backyard used to be, let's see here, can I, right here. So there was a fence that ran right along this. It's kind of like the ground already has a line there. But that was where my backyard was before. And so we bought the house where the pergola is sitting and we had it torn down. Um, and there was a garage right where I'm standing here. And I, we tore that down. And yeah, it has been a busy two years, but we, I feel like we've done a lot of work and got a lot accomplished. So we have a pool. We like to play volleyball against our friends. So yeah, so that's that's our yard and just planning it all and working with it all made me really enjoy being outside in the summer and not being cooped up at a desk. So that that is where Marsha's garden started, I guess. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully it can be a success. Thank you for watching.